Hi, my name is Daniel, and in this video I'll be showing you how to use Zen Server's deployment feature in Zen Server 6. Zen Server Deployment allows you to package an application and deploy it, making it available for users on the web. Zen Server will handle the web server configurations and other necessary actions to deploy the application. Once this is done, your application is live and available on the web at the URL you have specified as your base URL. Typically, a Zen Deployment Package, or a ZPK, contains three parts the data folder holding all the source code of your application, the deployment XML, a descriptor file describing all necessary information in order to deploy your application using Zen Deployment, and the scripts folder containing any additional hook scripts you would like to use during the deployment. Zen Deployment consists of six actions, two for deployment, two for rollback, and two for removal. Two hook scripts are provided for each action, pre and post allowing you to customize the different deployment stages according to specific needs. For example, this post staging hook script will replace entered values for defined user parameters after the staging process ends. In Zen Server 6, the deployment package can also include pre-configured and customized monitoring and caching rules. We'll see these later on. Deployment can be done using Web API, but in this video we'll be using the Zen Server 6 user interface. Deployment is handled from the Apps page, under the Applications tab. To begin the process, we're going to click the Deploy Application button in the Action bar, and the Deploy Application wizard is displayed. Right, so our first step is to upload the application package. The success message at the top of the dialog tells us that we succeeded in uploading the package. On the second page of the wizard, we're going to define the application's properties. As you can see, the application name and version number are automatically defined. The display name is the name that Zen Server will display for this application. The virtual host field automatically displays the default server that is defined on the settings page under the administration tab. If you have not yet defined a default server, the default virtual host on your server will be used. You can add a new virtual host by clicking Add New. In the Path field, we will enter the second part of our base URL, which can only be a directory. As you type, the URL of the application is updated below. Leaving this field empty will deploy the application on the virtual host's route. The next step is to read and accept the terms specified in the application's end user license agreement. But obviously, in this case, we're going to jump right to the prerequisites validation page. In this case, Zen Server has notified us that the package prerequisites call for the MySQL extension to be loaded, and that the extension is currently not loaded. Clicking this link will open Zen Server in a new tab and lead us to the correct page in the user interface, allowing us to fix the configuration mismatch. So we're now going to locate the MySQL extension, load it, and then restart Zen Server to apply the changes. Now let's go back to the deployment wizard and click refresh. Zen Server confirms that all is well this time and we can carry on to our next step. The next page contains any user parameters that need to be defined to install the application package. As you can see, this package contains database parameters such as the location of the database and username and password for accessing it. The next and final step of the wizard is to view and confirm the deployment details. Once we've reviewed the summary and clicked Deploy, Zen Server will commence with the deployment process, which includes restarting the server, as the restart icon in the toolbar is indicating. Our application is now live and available on the web at the URL we specified as our base URL. Taking a deeper look at the application in the Applications list will show us all the information we need about our deployed application. Checking the monitoring and caching rules, we can see the predefined and customized rules we saw earlier in the ZPK. Deployed applications can be updated by uploading a new application package, redeployed if an error occurred during the deployment process, or entirely be removed from the server. All these actions can also be performed in a cluster, adding real scalability to your production environment. That's it for now, thanks for taking the time to watch this video. If you have any ideas for improving Zen Server 6 that you'd like to share with the Zen Server team, please don't hesitate to contact Zen.
For more detailed information on working with deployment and additional features in Zen Server 6, please refer to the online documentation at www.zen.com.